Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Haunt Talk. In today's episode, we are going to be reviewing what I assume is a lesser known haunt called Terror Labs. It is in Pottstown, PA in the Coventry Mall. It is pretty decently close to uh, Penhurst Asylum, so if you're looking for something that's close to that, this is like 20, 30 minutes away. We were originally planning on doing Bates Motel, but it was a really rainy, gross night out, so we didn't want to do that because there's a section of Bates that's really muddy if it rains. And I mean, it was it was just not, it was just not a nice night. It was cold and wet, so we're like, ah, this place looks kind of interesting. We knew nothing about it, so we decided to check it out. Before we get in the review, um, if you just watch this for our Halloween haunted house content, we do other stuff as well in the off season, like haunted adventures where we do real ghost hunting. We have a podcast called Creeps, Creatures, and Haunts. Oh my. Where we talk about real haunted stuff, creepy things, cryptids, all of that kind of stuff. You can listen to it because, again, it's a podcast. There's a link for that in the description below. And we also did a video for them, and that's on the channel. So you can find it there. It's in a playlist um, under Creeps, Creatures, and Haunts. Oh my. Uh, but that being said, oh, we also have a Patreon. You can check that out too. I always forget to mention that. But we have it. All these things are always in, in the description. So if you're wanting to help us out, Check that out too. But as always, it's time to refer to the Book of the Day! Book of the Day! Book of the Day! Book of the Day! Alright, as always, we start off with sets and props. Um, so this <laughs> place is inside a like mall, which is kinda weird. Um, but uh it's kind of set up like a doctor's office. Yeah, it's strange. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, so you go up to a counter and they take your money and it's kind of like a receptionist desk kind of thing, like how you check into a doctor's office. And then you wait to get into the waiting room. Mm -hmm. And they actually have a little waiting room with some chairs and some desks and some, like, a television and stuff. And so you sit in there and wait for the doctor. And they tell you, like, the rules and stuff like that on the little TV before they let you into the doctor's office. Um, it was kind of neat how everything was set up because, like, you kind of went from, like, different scenes. Um, yeah, it was like it's kind of like a stop and go kind of thing. Like, you would yeah. go watch this scene and then you'd go to the next scene, watch that scene. Yeah. Uh, so the first one starts off with, like, kind of like a like a lab, castle lab kind yeah. of scene mm -hmm. where they tell you that they're doing, like, experiments and mm -hmm. and different things like that. Um, and you meet, like, different doctors in each room as well. Yeah, which, of course, we'll talk more about all of that in actors. There's places, like, there's sets and props, but it's more actor-focused, so mm -hmm. we probably won't linger on sets and props as much as we do on other ones because, again, you just kind of walk from scene to scene and watch, like, a thing happen. Outside of a couple spots, there is a morgue scene. So there's like a little fire pit and like a burnt body that gets pulled out of the the. Or no, I'm sorry. The the morgue scene. Well, the morgue scene is so there's like two different like morgue scenes. There's like the actual morgue and then one where he was like. Operating on something else. Yeah. Yeah, but then there's the fur. Oh, there's a cafeteria, which is like a gross cafeteria. There's a furnace, and that was the one where he like pulls the body out of the fire. Mm -hmm. Um. There is some dark hallways that transition between the scenes. But they're really creepy. <laughs> well, the, the first couple are just like a normal black hallway. But yeah, yeah the, the the last one you go through, yeah, there's like speakers. I'm assuming it has to be speakers somewhere. And they like... They're like right at your yeah, ears. Ear level. And they just like whisper things. Yeah, it was it's really, really unnerving because I what? felt like someone was next to me. But there wasn't anybody yeah, next to me because the hallways were hallways. really skinny. And it, yeah, I... Ooh, it gave me goosebumps. <laughs> and it's like really dark in these hallways too. It's hard because however they do it, you can't really look up at the ceiling for a lot of them. They must have like the ceiling slightly blocked because a lot of mm -hmm. times you can just cheat and look up to see where. But it was harder to do that in these ones I yeah. found. Yeah. Um, and then there's this uh, <laughs> popper thing that goes off. Like when, like it's just a dark <laughs> hallway and it's one of those you see them a lot in like lab scenes or whatever. They just like spark and like real loud. Yeah. You know? They make like the blue light. Yeah, and it happens in this complete dark scene, and um, I, we didn't realize at the time, but once you're done, it, it took it takes your picture, and our picture was great. I don't know if I'll be able to find it or not, but yeah, it that was probably one of the only times it actually like scared us, scared us, but like it really made us jump. 
they have a cute little forest scene at the end too you're kind of told the creature's going to come in and then there's like some doors that kind of bang open and then yeah but that's pretty much all for the scenes the place isn't super long or anything like that but like if you were just to walk through it it would be really short but since you like stop at each scene mm -hmm. um there's a little bit more there but for sets and props, we gave it a 7.5. It is cool what they have, but it is pretty old school. There could definitely be used like a little bit more detail and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, it kind of ties into Scare Factor more, but one thing that would help sets and props is there's not much of a payoff at the end of each scene. Yeah. There should be a little bit of something, but... Like, there was some gross stuff, but, but yeah, like, there wasn't like it wasn't a like an scare. Ending. Yeah, there yeah. wasn't like a... Like, get out of this room kind of thing. It was kind of like an, yeah, kind of proceed to the next. Where, like, you know, Wells Township, for example, does it really good. Where, like, at the end of almost every scene, there's some kind of, like, scare. Like, something happens, and now mm -hmm. it's time to move to the next. I kind of wish this, like, it doesn't need to do, like, you know, I mean, I don't want places to have to copy the same formula someplace like Wells. But, like, it would be cool for there, like, to be a little bit more than, you know. Yeah. Just kind of being told, like, some things and being conversated with. And then nothing happening. But... <laughs> That brings us into actors, and like like we've said, you are stopped at each scene. The scientist in the first room, um, who I is like, I'm assuming he's like one of the creators, if not the creator of the place. He's the first one you see. He's kind of fun. He has like something where he like I don't know is talking about some like guy that he has like split up in all these parts and stuff. Yeah, yeah, he has him like oh he's over here, he's over there, he's over there. Um, and then there's a more guy that was pretty funny. Um, he actually introduced us to a hand washing station and then he's like, oh yeah. And then we hang them to dry over here. And he had a little hanger with the hands just kind of like dangle in there, which I thought was kind of funny. Yeah. He was really strange. He was very like monotone and mm -hmm. like kind of like a little whispery voice, kind of like he was like talking to us, but almost like not really. He was, yeah. he was probably my favorite. He was so weird. And then he was like, okay, and you can go ahead and if you want to see more experiments, just go ahead and go to the next room. And you go over there, and then he and then he comes over, and he's like, even though there's only two of these, like, oh, oh, just making sure it's all of you. Sometimes others just like to stay back there. <laughs> and he, like, goes over, and he's talking about, like, how he hasn't had lunch, and then he just picks something up out of the body and puts it in his mouth. I assume he has, like, beef jerky and, like, this chest cavity, but he's just... Yeah, he's just, yeah. And he's like, hmm. And he's like, he's so... He's like, he's so strange. Just back and just... Just so, just chill. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> I enjoyed um, him. He was fun. Yeah, he was really good. Um, so then you go, um, he tells you to go talk to the lady in the cafeteria. <laughs> and I think her name was Alba? Yeah, because he tells you to call her by name, but I can't remember. I think it was Alba. It was kind of a strange name. Yeah. yeah. But. Um, but she was like your old school, like, you know, like your stereotypical cafeteria lady that they always have with like the hairnet and like the blue eye shadow and the just over dramatic makeup and stuff like that. Sounds like she just smoked a pack of cigarettes yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah, like literally in two seconds. Yeah. Um, so she was, she was pretty good and she kind of gave us a little bit of a scare cause she's like, get out of my, you know, yeah. get out of my cafeteria. Yeah. Um, and then there was the guy that was down in the furnace, and he was uh, he was pretty creepy. He he was really creepy, actually. Cause yeah, of course he was wanting to like wanted to put us in the furnace and stuff. Yeah, and and he like had like a bone. He's like, does this look done to you? Yeah, <laughs> it's like all crispy. And of course, I'll, anytime like the actors pretty much ask me if I want to be next or if I want to be killed, of course I agree with them because. Well, <laughs> you know, but, and yeah. so he was like, well, I'll have to ask whatever the, the main doctor is like name. He's like, and then if he gives me permission, he's like, I'll come find you. <laughs> it's yeah. like, okay. Or he said, I'll, I'll hunt. Or, oh, that's where he's like, I'll you. I mean, come find you. Find yeah. you, find you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then there was um, like a creepy hallway that was one of those oh, yeah. just plain hallways, but the lights kept flickering on and off. And Plus, at one point they flicker on and you just see this girl at the end of the hallway and she's just got the curtain a little bit and she's just like staring at you and you're just like, okay. Yeah, and then they like flicker off and back on and she's gone and then they just shut off and then it's just like, where'd she go? Yeah, and so then you go through that curtain and you're in like an area that looks like it's probably like patient rooms or something. Yeah. 
and she's in one of those rooms and she's got like a bunch of creepy dolls and stuff like that. And then she asked like I, like, I don't think we really could have went in there, but she's like, oh, you know, you want to come in here or whatever. And like she, she had a name for this really awful little doll and she asked me if I wanted to play with this doll. She had a name for it. I forget the name of this creepy doll that she had. Um, but it would have been cool if they would have actually like took you in that room and like had a scene in there too. Yeah. That would have been cool if they would have like made you go in there and kind of, because it looked like it was all done up and stuff. I'm surprised that they didn't. And see, they could have had a scare in there, like had her tell you a thing and then an actor could have been like a giant teddy bear and the giant teddy bear like chased you out of the room, you know. That is, something like that would have been cool. Yeah. Um, and then you just get to the end where some girl tells you about to watch out for a creature, um, which they don't think there ever really was a creature. But like there, the doors kind of move, like I said, and sets and props at the end. Mm-hmm. But overall, it was fun. We kind of describe it as being a little bit kind of cute. It was just kind of like funny. It was more like aimed at being funny, I think, than scary for the most part with the actors in that. Like I said, we just wish there would have been more of a scare finish because sometimes it kind of felt awkward at the end because you're like, because they'd have to tell you, since there's not a scare that happens, you pretty much have to be like, okay, now you go to the next room kind yeah. of thing. And then it's like, okay. And then you just kind of gallivant <laughs> over to the next room. And like, so it could be a little bit awkward because like, since you don't know when to leave, they literally have to tell you to leave. Yeah. And you're just like, <laughs> oh, what do we do? <laughs> but we thought it was cool. Um, yeah. I, we thought it was was uh, was a fun time and the actors that were there. They, they knew their dialogue and all of that and they did pretty good at that. Yeah. So we gave them an eight mm-hmm. for the actors um which brings us to scare factor um there is some gore because there is you know a morgue and a lab and there's like bodies like cut open and stuff like that and the guy eats something out of it yeah and somebody eats out of it um like we said it's kind of more towards like kind of like telling a little bit of a story and entertaining more than scaring yeah um i think if maybe if you're easily scared by like you know gore or anything like that you might be a little bit more um yeah but i mean even though there is a fair amount of gore there it is like it's not super realistic though yeah like i said it is like more old school Mm -hmm. haunt looking in that kind of thing like i said there's not many scares outside of the popper that tried to give us a heart attack (laughs) um that was pretty cool but overall this was this is a pretty decent one to bring the family to Mm -hmm. there's a couple spots we're gonna freak the kids out but that is good because it's a good one uh, to like introduce, I think, a younger yeah. audience to because there's a little bit in there, but not so much where they're going to freak out through the whole thing more than <laughs> likely, you know. Um, there was a group in front of us that was just, I don't know what was happening to them, but they just kept screaming. And again, there's only like two to three jump scares in this place, but they were screaming like the whole yeah. time. I'm like, what is, because I was like, oh man, what are we in for? And then when we like ran in, I'm like, well, this is more of like this style of haunt. Why were they screaming so much? So I don't know, but. <laughs> Yeah, but for Scare Factor, we gave them a four. And again, a low value in Scare Factor doesn't really necessarily mean bad, bad. Um, it just means that it's not that scary. Yeah. You know, you can be not scary and good. So that brings us to value. This took about 10 minutes to get through. It's only $15. There's no VIP or anything like that because, again, this is a smaller haunt. And it does benefit um, the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. So at least it says on the website and all of that kind of thing. Again, I really don't know how it all works, but it does say that. So that is going to a good cause. And that is good. $15 is super cheap. This isn't something I would probably, you know, drive a real long way for or anything like that. But if you're anywhere in the area or doing Penhurst, one of the other ones that's close by, it's a cool little fun short haunt. That's something different yeah. um, that I think, you know, is entertaining. Just You just want to make sure you don't go in expecting something that it's not. But for value, $15 is one of, about as cheap as you find a haunt anymore. We gave it a 9 because we think it is pretty good value. Yes. Um, so that brings us to our overall score. We gave them a 7.5. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just like I was saying. It's nothing I would like drive crazy far for. Um, they're up and coming. I hope that I really like what they're doing with it. And I hope they can get more elaborate, more detailed, maybe a little bit less on the black hallways and add some scares into there. And I think they can really have something that's unique to the area Yeah. and kind of find their niche because they're already kind of there. And I do think that this has potential to get really good. Yeah. I'm not sure the year they opened, but our tickets that they gave us said 2018. So I'm going to think that it's 2018 was their first year. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. So I definitely think it's worth your time if you're around there. Have you been there? Let us know what you think of it. Also, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future reviews that we do. And also, if you're interested in another area like Penhurst and stuff like that, We do have reviews on the channel of that. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.